Hey friends, what's up and welcome back to this new episode on the channel. In today's video, we are checking out the new Sketch update, Sketch version 70. It just came out together with the new macOS Big Sur update and I'm super pumped about it. Like, I'm super excited because it's a total design revamp and I just can't wait to show you all of the differences to the current Sketch version. So here on my screen, you are not seeing the sketch version 70, you are seeing sketch version 69. So before the sketch uh, update came out, this is what sketch looked like. But if I'm just now resizing the window a little bit, you already see sketch version 70. This is it. This is the design of sketch version 70, the latest sketch update. And they redesigned it according to the new design guidelines and we can already see a few differences here. I will have both versions and both apps are running simultaneously so you can check out the differences and we will compare the old version and the new version and we will see what is better and what changed and yeah let's go. So what we see right there from the beginning is that there is some kind of translucent bar right here. The, the layer panel was redesigned and has this new transparency, translucent effect. You can see it right down here with these artboards and these designs um, that there has been quite a cool change to be honest. And if I minimize the win window, you will see that we get some cool effects with the background color. Um, yeah, just right here. That is the first like major change, layer panel. And what also changed is this top bar. They are calling it the toolbar. Um, if we go back here, we can see that there are a few elements in here and it pretty much looks like the old Mac version and the old Sketch version, even though there have been a few changes uh, for the old Sketch version too. But if we compare it like step by step, we immediately see that the whole layer panel now has a fixed line a fixed divider going all the way up to the top um, and we don't have any controls um, that are part of the the toolbar um, because they are now all part of the layer panel and what's also new is the restructured insert panel like right down here we have the insert and we have the data drop downs and all of that now is uh, all listed in the new insert panel. We have data now right here and we can access it by clicking on the insert button. We also see the new document uh, name and also if we hover it, we get like a little icon and drop down possibilities and then we get some more information about the document itself. Um, if we go back into the old version, we just see the document name, but no extra like subtitle or file location or whatever. This is pretty cool, I think. And like the toolbar is about tools, right? Um, and all of these tools have been moved to the right side. They have been spread all over the toolbar in the old version. Like as you can see here, group, ungroup. Uh, also the zoom panel and create symbols um, things have changed. If you want to get your create symbol back, your uh, create symbol button and also a few other things like the assistance, they have been removed from the version that I'm using right here. But that's not a problem at all. We can right click it, then we can even change it to icon and text and stuff like that if you want to customize it even more. Um, but we can also customize the toolbar like we have been uh, able before. And now you see these wobbly kind of icons right here and we can simply drag in those um, features and functions that we would like to have in here. Um, we can see that there is already uh, the, the create symbol uh, feature and I just didn't see it. Uh, it's this icon. And But, uh, but for example, um, the assistants have been reduced. Um, they have been removed. And we can now like drag them in here and click on done. And then we just uh, have our customized own toolbar again. And a few more ch things changed. Like as I said, the zoom feature now isn't um, like available on the left side, but it moved and got a little redesign and moved to the right side. 
and here we can now show pixels, show rulers and stuff like that and also change the zoom. A few things that change too is if I move this up a bit, like right there and this one down a bit to get a bit of a better um, comparison is that uh, these icons like the preview, cloud, etc. also have been like redesigned kind of bit. They have no title anymore. Like all of those, those icons don't have a title in the, the normal um, Mac OS big Zor uh, update. And, but we can re-enable the text if we want. Now let's check out the inspector. The inspector right here looks almost the same, if not totally the same, like in the, the old update, in the, in the old version. Let's click on a layer and let's check out if we find any more differences that have been like changed. So if I select one of those layers right here, like that, we can see that there are a few changes. The first change is the color of uh, those like active and interactive elements. Um, I'm not sure if this is part of the macOS version or like a setting that I can do or if it's part of Sketch itself, but it changed from this bluish color also in the layer list to the orange that we can see uh, in here. So we have the orange uh, also selecting the layers and then in here we have it as well. Uh, besides that, in the inspector I can't see any other major changes. Um, like the top of it got a slight redesign. Here the, we have a different color for those alignment um, functions and here it's a bit different, but from that point it's almost the same. Let's check out, let's check out our layer um our, our like design system manager or how i like to call it <laughs> the components overview um in here we also see that the layer panel or this new left sidebar um got a redesign like we have a few things that are now more up to date like these uh, rounded bars right here where this was just a total like rectangle frame here we have a rounded um, feature and as well as those like tools for, or um, tabs from the top uh, in the toolbar, they also changed a bit and we have them in here with a nice little hover effect. So yeah, as you can see, there are a few things that changed, but it's not an overall super big uh, like redesign from, from beginning to the end. It's just that Sketch thought that it's important to be one of the first companies um, in the design industry to feature the new design guidelines and design style for the latest macOS update. And I'm pretty happy that they uh, had such a big um, focus on redesigning Sketch for the latest update. And I'm happy that I have the latest style of the macOS also right in, in my design app. So that's a pretty cool thing. And I'm super excited to work with the latest Sketch version 70. What they also did is to change some contrasts uh, of the UI so that it matches the macOS accessibility guidelines. And another really cool feature that I would like to show you is also kind of new. If you create a rectangle or a certain set of elements that you would like to then um, align or uh, make a grid out of that or duplicate, you can now select multiple layers like you could do before. And let's give that one a different color so we get a, like a better um, impression of the feature. Yeah, let's also change this one up a bit like that. And uh, let's get rid of the borders here. So we have these two rectangles and it could also be different elements. But if we select both of them, um, of course, we can change the position like we could do before. And we can change the spacing in here. But what we can also do now is to use this little icon right here and to duplicate those items. So I'm not quite sure actually why it uh, used the color of the last one, um, but 
what you can see right here is that we have a certain set of duplicated elements. And if I add a spacing in here, you can see that it's also adding the spacing to all of these elements. And of course, uh, we get it for the duplicated versions as well. So this is a pretty cool feature. As I said, I don't really know why they used um, the same color for this one. Maybe they are just duplicating the last rectangle or the, the last style. Um, I need to test that with real things like buttons or whatever, but it's a pretty cool feature to create a grid and organize such a grid in a very fast way. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this review of the latest macOS and Sketch update. Of course, it's more related to the Sketch update and I'm super pumped about it. I'm very excited to use it. Of course, from now on, you will see all of my videos recorded with the Sketch update, update 70. And uh, if you want to download it, I will post the link down in the video description so you can check it out. If you don't own Sketch yet, make sure to just try to uh, try out the trial version of it or buy it if you if you like it um, thank you so much for tuning in and we will see us in the next video bye